Welcome back Manchester United fans to the Manchester Evening News. I am Sam Hutchison and this is your preview for Man United vs Sevilla second leg. Man United travelled to Sevilla and they've been really buoyed by some injury worries that have sort of subsided now because of who we saw in open training this morning. Tyrone Molassi is back, Luke Shaw's back, Marcel Sabitz is back, Marcus Rashford's back and Alejandro Garnacho was all back in training today. I don't think Garnacho will be fit enough to make the squad. His was a lot worse of an injury than everyone else's. Everyone else should make the squad again and I think Tyrone Molassi should be fit to start again after he only missed out with illness. Honestly, I think this will be the make or break of Manchester United's season. Sevilla are not a good side. It's really, it was a disappointment that Man United even conceded to last week and like that after that win against Forest that just showed that Man United can get a win no matter what really I think it would be a real disappointment if Man United didn't go out and capitalise on Sevilla having a poor season even though they're so good in the Europa League in history as for Sevilla they haven't really got any injury worries I was wrong last week to say Alex Tellez was, couldn't play against his parent club in Man United he can play against his parent club in the Europa League. He can't in domestic competitions, but luckily he doesn't play in domestic competitions. So Alex Tellers will be available, but I don't think he'll start. Marcus Cunha will start out there, and he was quite good for Sevilla, you know, all things considered. He got into Anthony's head, and it made Eric Ten Hag take Anthony off, which, in the end, made Manchester United not win that game, in my opinion. So, apart from the two ineligible players in the Europa League, that Sevilla have in Tecasito, Corona and Papagay. There aren't any more injuries, there are no suspensions and Man United are missing Bruno Fernandes, which will be huge. He's so good. He's, this is arguably his best season in a Man United shirt and not, him not being available for Man United this week, it's really going to hurt that midfield and that midfield structure. Although, we have seen Marcel Sabitzer and Christian Eriksen play in that role before, so it might not be all, all be doom and gloom for Man United as regards to team news. The big player that's returning from injury is Marcus Rashford. I mean, he's probably not fit enough to start. He will probably make the bench, but I don't think he'll be fit enough to start. However, his impact off the bench has been so good for Manchester United in parts this season. He's been so like influential when he's come off the bench. Like, imagine... Can you remember, the, throw it back to that time when he was done for disciplinary issues and Ten Hag started him on the bench and then he came off the bench and was really, really fantastic. I think if Man United are chasing the goal late on into the game, say the last 15, 20 minutes, Marcus Rashford will come onto that pitch and I think he could make the difference. So for sort of what might happen in this game, what I think might happen, I got it right last week with who Sevilla's best players were. In the series, nodded it off Harry Maguire's head to get that equaliser. And Bono was fantastic all game, their goalkeeper. He saved so many chances. And I mean, if Sancho and Anthony could finish a little bit better, maybe he wouldn't have saved all those chances, but he did. because. But them two are still, they're still good footballers and they can still score goals, even if they haven't really shown it that much this season. I think it's probably lined up to be the same again. I think Ivan Rakitic was really good. He's never really relied on his pace, so as he's getting older, it's not really affected the way he plays his game. And when he was at Barcelona, I mean, I'm sure you remember him, he was so good at Barcelona. And now he's returned to Sevilla and he's been pretty much a consistent, ever-present in their midfield, except he missed on Saturday, which means he will be fully, fully fit to go this week against Manchester United. Last week, I said Eric Ten Hag got it wrong with his substitutes, however, and I really hope he doesn't do that again. I think Anthony and Bruno coming off was the wrong decision for the youth that he did bring on. He brought on Elanga and Palistri. He brought on, Mar I mean, Weggles for Martial, I can understand. But I'm not sure that's needed this week. I think Eric Ten Hag's got to go out and really get this. As it looks like top four's now secure in the Premier League. Everyone else seems to be dropping points around Man United this season. And I think top four is probably secure. So I think now the real big issue for Eric Ten Hag is to go out and make sure they win the Europa League. Because a double in his first season at Manchester United would be immense. I think this is probably the biggest game that Man United will play in the Europa League this season. And I think it should be a pretty easy win. 
as for a score prediction and a team prediction, I think it'll be David De Gea in net. I think it'll be Aaron Wan-Bissaka at right back. Harry Maguire and Victor Lindelof at centre half. I think it'll be Tyrell Malassia back at left back. I'm not sure Luke Shaw will be fit enough to start. I think in midfield, it'll be Casemiro, Sabitza and Eriksen. I think Sabitza will be the more advanced of those three. In attack, I'd go Anthony, Martial and Sancho. Anthony has been really good in recent weeks. I've been really impressed. And he finally looks like the sort of player Manchester United first signed him to be. Anthony Martial has allowed that. That's really the reason that Anthony has been so good off that right wing, is Martial has come in up front and he offers a lot more than Weghorst. He's clearly a much, much better footballer than Weghorst. So I think Martial will start and I don't think he'll finish the game, but I think Rashford might come on for him in the last 20 minutes. And then on the left wing, I think it'll be Sancho, only because Eric Ten Hag's really not got that many options out there. I can't see Garnacho or Rashford being fit enough to start. So I would say it'll be Sancho out there. As for a score prediction, I'm going for 3-1 Man United. I think Man United get an early goal and this will be really easy. I don't think Eric Ten Hag will get it wrong again with his substitutes. I think he'll get it right this time. And I don't think he'll bring him off like he had where he thought the game was already won when it clearly wasn't, especially against this severe side. I think he's learnt his lesson there, and I really hope he's learnt his lesson, because I would like to see Manchester United in a final, as I'm sure all of you would as well. Let us know in the comments what you think might happen, Manchester United fans. Make sure to keep it locked to the Manchester Evening News for all your Man United updates. Check out the Manchester's Red podcast that went out on Monday, in which they pre- previewed this severe game a little bit further. See you next time. <laughs>